Hey, how you doing everybody? Last Outrider here with another Data Slate video. We are going to bring you the Storm Wolf gunship. Probably the most awesome and deadly flyer in 40k. You don't believe me? You will after I'm done with this. But first, the fluff. For the Space Wolves, the Stormfang gunship is the final word in aerial superiority. Designed to dominate the skies in the manner of the dread ice worms of Finris. A Stormfang's ferocious armament mirrors the fighting qualities of the Space Wolves themselves. A Hellfrost Destructor runs along the length of each of these deadly attack craft. A formidable weapon designed to freeze the target area to absolute zero in an instant. Even notoriously unwieldy materials such as Ceramite and Ferrocrete or the Wraithbone of Eldar cannot hope to withstand the thermal shock of plummeting to such a base temperature and shatter beneath the lance beam's icy touch. Most Stormfang pilots are boastful of the deadly firepower of their, at their command and mark their craft with tallies of their fallen foes. Nice, huh? So, what does this monster do, you might ask? You will find out. First, let's see. Uh, his stat line. He got a ballistic skill of 4. Front armor of 12, side armor of 12, rear armor of 12, hull points of 3. It is a flyer. Hover, transport. Hover is an important one there. And transport. A flyer, hover, transport. Okay, so make sure to use all of its capabilities. Uh, the unit composition, it comes in a unit of one. Its war gear is a Hellfrost Destructor. Two twin-linked heavy bolters. Two storm strike missiles. And ceramite plating. It has special rules of power of the machine spirit, and it is capable of transporting six models, like just blowing stuff up wasn't enough. It has no power, fire points. Even could, it's a transport, so it has to say that. No, you can't shoot out of the side of it as it's flying overhead. Uh, it has the access point uh, in a storm fang is one, and it's at the rear of its hull. It has several options. It may replace both twin-linked heavy bolters with one of the following. A Skyhammer missile launcher, uh, two twin-linked multi-meltas, and, re and may replace its two storm strike missiles with twin-linked LAS cannons. Is that crazy? Yeah, it is crazy, actually. But what else does it now? What is it? Let me see. The, 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 some of you might not know what the Hellfrost Destructor is, so let me tell you. It has two firing modes, dispersed and focused. They both have the same range of 24 inches. The dispersed mode has a strength 6 AP3, a heavy 1 Hellfrost large blast. The focused firing mode is also is a strength 8 AP1 heavy 1 hellfrost lance um ba bum bum oh the hellfrost cannon is 72 inches firing range strength 8 AP2 it is a heavy 1 concussive, one-shot-only weapon. The ceramite plating 
on the Stormfang means that Melta weapons do not roll an extra D6 for armor penetration when shooting at this vehicle at half range or less. How's that? Now, let's talk about the tactics for it. As I said before, the um, Stormfang is possibly the scariest aircraft in Warhammer 40k. The Stormfang combines modest but handy transport capability. Of course, you, you, when you're carrying six Space Wolves, uh, you could imagine what those might be. Make it a command squad. Make it something like that. You could, it's, it's nuts. Since this isn't a dedicated transport, it's not tied to any unit. Uh, which also means, I guess, it could carry three Terminators. Let's see, with good armor and an outright deadly main gun, the Hellfrost Destructor has the ability to turn even the mightiest tanks into icy chunks with its lance weapon. And with the ability to hit units with a large blast attack and even one-shot kill monstrous creatures, uh... Of course, this you have to you have to hope the dice gods are blessing you that day. But it is possible to one shot kill monstrous creatures with this thing. There's nothing really that can stand in its way for too long. Uh, it's recommended using the Stormfang primarily as a quick and dangerous anti tank weapon. Issue it with las guns and multi melters and navigate the battlefield pulping the best armored units the enemy has. The weapons are only short-ranged, but since your plane is zooming, you don't need to worry too much about the return fire that is going to come back against you. Get in close, where you can use the multi meltas short-range to their best effect, and kiss goodbye your target. Not much is going to survive two short-range hits from multi melters a LAS Cannon, and a Hellfrost Destructor on the same turn. The next turn, rinse and repeat. One thing I'm always wary of with units that have two possible roles is not to confuse them by trying too hard to do both roles at the same time. The Stormfang is a gunship. Pure and simple. So use the crew compartment as a happy extra. Meaning this is not designed to be a transport. It carries six and that's great. You know, maybe this would be good, for example, pushing a unit off of a, off of um, an objective, and then dropping a squad right on top of it to then claim that unit and hold it as you zoom away to blast somebody else to pieces. But that's not its primary function, meaning its primary function is not to transport the unit to the objective, it's to push something off the objective, and those guys are just a bonus at claiming it after that's done. Okay, so if you come out of zoom mode to drop off a squad, your Stormfang will find itself getting shot to ribbons probably by anything that can target it. So only do this if it's a very important objective that you need to hold. Or Another tactic is to make sure that the unit you're dropping on that on that objective is more scary than the Stormfang itself. For example, you may go over there and drop off three Terminators, being, you know, a uh, two Wolf Guard and a Wolf Lord. Now, your opponent is going to have to choose. Am I going to shoot uh, the Stormfang, which is going to go fly away next turn, or am I going to leave those... Uh, am I going to shoot those guys, which it just now dropped in your midst? This is the good way to protect the Stormfang from being blown at the sky. And even if it is, well then, your Wolf Lord and, and Wolf Guard are left to kill whoever they want after it's done. 
Try it out and tell me how it works. Bye.